All right, I'm here with Johnny and Sal, and they're about to take their first ever ride here on the electric rickshaw from 630. And now they've both ridden e-bikes before. Saul has minimal experience on an e-trike, which he just had over here, but not the rickshaw. So we can hold up to 300 pounds on the back. Uh, Johnny, how much do you weigh? Uh, 175. 175. And Saul, how much are you? 185. 185. So we're... 350 ish pounds basically between the two of them so i'll walk you guys through it so basically same as a regular e-bike mm -hmm. um you're going to push your power button on right here yep and your display is going to come on you have five levels of pedal assist now with the weight on the back you may need to be in second or third it depends but just i would say we'll keep it in one as you get going okay. and just get comfortable with it okay now there's one difference. We do have the throttle. It's on the right hand side. Okay. I think it was on the left hand side for the other one. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you have a shifter as well. So you have seven speeds as well, like mm -hmm. on a normal bike. This is a trigger shifter though. Yep. So you push in to go up and oh, you push up to go down. So yep. up, down. Yep. And that's about it. We've got front suspension fork here. Uh, we do have our little storage compartment underneath the seat here that opens up. There you go, yep. Very cool. Okay. And then slip that into the... Yep, perfect. What is, it? what is the green button? Horn? You can push that if you want. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> you're definitely going to want to let people know you're coming on this thing. And you got a light up here too, which we don't need right now. Yep. And your seatbelt and your step up. So if you want to go get buckled in, Johnny and Sal, hop on. Now again, driving a trike is different than an e-bike, so <laughs> so whenever you're ready, trustworthy fellow back there. And actually, I have there's a parking brake here. I too I put on as well. So um, you pull pull it in. Releases, yep. 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 Exactly. Okay. Start pedaling in little assist. Huh? <laughs> and then get your get ready on the brakes if you need them. Oh, uh, you can make a small loop. <laughs> and if you need more power, put it into level two. Why don't you try this too? Just go cut through the grass and, the grass? and, up, and up the power. And turn right. Yeah, put it in three or four. And you could try the throttle. Yeah, there you go. And if you want, just go over here and then turn back onto the sidewalk. Just take your... Yeah, back onto the sidewalk. Just take your time turning back on. Okay. Figured it out. What did you think? Not too bad, right? No, no. Once you realize how deliberate you need to be with the steering wheel, you realize, oh, okay. I mean, you really just need to move it where you want to go, unlike a bicycle where the leaning does it. Yep. Yeah, yep. But yeah, once you do. What were you in? Three or four? Three. Three? Yep. Okay. And I would say when you get back to the sidewalk and you take the turns, if you want, you could kick it a little lower. Yep. You just don't want to be as aggressive on a trike as you do on a two wheel, especially with a guy in the back. Sure. Yep. Um, if you want to switch now, Johnny, you want to steer and give it a shot? Okay. Faith in me, so it's only fair. Yeah, okay. Not too pretty comfortable in the back, though, right? It was, it was nice actually. Yeah, you could probably still put one more lightweight child there, probably. Yep, <laughs> okay. Well, wow. so I just start in one, yeah. I mean, uh, maybe, maybe angle off into the grass and then you can loop around back to the sidewalk. Okay. Uh, what, what is this again? Those are gears, just like a normal bike. Oh, okay. oh, I think, 
Oh, like the one we did that way? Yeah. Okay. Yep. But I mean, I don't know if you, you can't push those until you're moving. You may just, you may be okay leaving I, I it. I got up to three on that with full throttle and it was moving pretty aggressively. And then what makes it go, I, I, I wasn't paying attention to this. It's all the same as the other one. So if you pedal, like, it's going to move. Right. And then how do I get this going? How do I get it to move? Where's the button to... There's a throttle right there. Don't... Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And once, if you have the brakes in, it won't work. There you go. Yep. And just slow down into the turns. Oh, wow. That's right. Yeah. Can I go around again? Sure. Different than a two wheel bike, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Learn deliberate Why don't you make a big lap? <laughs> <What'd> you... <laughs> Nothing different than the other bike for sure. Yeah, yeah you try... go fast on the straightaways, but when you know a turn's coming up, you better start gearing down. Yeah, prep court. Definitely. Maybe use the pedals a little bit because it was kind of like, ah. Yeah, you want to break into. It's like a car. Yeah. yeah. It's like a car. You got to break into the turns, take the turn, accelerate out of the turn. Exactly. Yeah. But what did you think of the handling overall? I mean, with considering there's a passenger back there, you had the power, right? Well, I, I mean, felt responsible. Yeah, I felt responsible. <laughs> like, like if he wasn't in there, I probably would have been a little more daring. I was about but to I was, but I, open and jump. But. <laughs> but it took me a minute to figure out the turn yeah. because you can't just lean like on that bike there and uh, overcompensate. You you have to let the bike the bike's going to control you instead of you controlling the bike like on that one. I think. Well, you control this one actually, but differently. Yeah, yeah. I think the only thing was the turn. Yeah. Yep, yep. So you had to definitely slow in the turn. But then on the turn, I, there were t there was like options. I was like, oh, should I go down? But then when I actually started doing the pedals, that was the trick to, to get control over it. Because you can't keep doing the electric and turn at the same time because it's too much. So I backed off that and then did the pedals, and then it was a lot easier. Cool. Yeah. But both, either of you, uh, or Saul too, you had po enough power, right, to bring him? Sure, and I did the turns very differently than he did, and yet they're both effective. So, yeah. You know, I, I hit the brakes and still hit right. the power. And, and we never got over three. We didn't do the four or five. Yep. I, I can see that more if you're going on a longer distance on a straightaway and you need more power, but if you're going to be doing the turns, I would recommend three and under. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, usually I don't even, I use the throttle through the turns too. Uh -huh. uh, slow down and then just ease back into the throttle as you're coming out. Um, yeah, with trikes, even a passenger or no passenger, you've got two wheels, so you want to make sure you keep the weight distribution back there. Right. On a bike, you're not really worried about it because there's only one wheel back there. So it's as yeah. you lean, it's staying with it. Yeah, that was only two minutes or three minutes. I can imagine if I had 30 minutes with it, then I'd be an expert. <laughs> yep, you know, exactly. I, I think I did okay for just a couple minutes. Yeah. And the power in the, on the grass with the two of us on here is pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But you didn't feel struggling at all, right? No, on the grass, I, I was shocked because even if you have a bicycle, the, ga the grass is hard. Right. <laughs> and this is kind of, okay, just do the electric. 
Cool. Yep, yeah, I like that. All right, well, Johnny and Saul's first experience <laughs> um, on the rickshaw. Check it out on 630.com. And uh, if you guys just want to keep riding together all day, feel free. Okay. And uh, yeah, see you next time. <laughs>